audit coverage from the period February 14, um, 2012. Did we really pick Valentine's Day as the day to start this? Okay, because it should have started on the 15th. Um, the day the bill was signed in law was April, um, up until um, April 30, 2016. The report you have in front of you has two findings and 16 recommendations. Overall, here is what we discovered. We found that Act 13 lacks clarity regarding the proper use, reporting, and monitoring of impact fees. That lack of clarity resulted in 24% of impact fee funds distributed to local governments that we tested as part of the audit being spent on what we believe are questionable costs. These costs include such things as balancing budget deficits, salaries and operational expenses, legal fees, and holiday celebrations. Additionally, due to the inadequate reporting requirements in Act 13, the information collected by the PUC does not accurately represent, represent impact fee spending. Further, Act 13 does not require the PUC to verify budget amounts self-reported by municipalities. This shortcoming in the legislation resulted in overpayments to many municipalities. Now, I want to be clear. Based on our audit, the PUC did what is required under the law, and they accurately calculated and distributed the impact fees based on the self-reported information submitted by municipalities. So while this is technically a criticism of the PUC, broadly speaking, it is not. They acted within the law. The problem is it with the law that we believe needs to be improved so that these type of errors do not happen again. Our audit shows that improvements to Act 13 of 2012 are needed to help the PUC or, and I will go into this later, a more appropriate state agency to administer the distribution of funds, provide greater direction to local governments for proper spending, and ensure that the impact fees are used as intended.